Alright, hi. New York Central Operating Instruction Diesel Electric Road and Locomotives Electric Motor Diesel um, GP7 Locomotives Classes DRS P4G and DRS 4F Road Numbers 5676 5685 Incorporated Support and Equipment PNL and ERR McKees Rocks, Pennsylvania, 8 December 1st, 1951 all right, operating instruction local electrical locomotive class DRS P4G DRS 4F 1500 horsepower locomotive road numbers 5676-5685 incorporated. Changing operating cabs when engine um, running when occupied for locomotive includes two units with operating control. Following procedure should be followed with the change of the uh, one operating end to the opposite end. Caution: the complete changeover must be made with the quickly as possible. Because if the fuel pumps are shut off, the diesel engine will suck. The fuel lines dry and result um, possibly resulting in the damage of the fuel injector lead cab. Remove the reverse handle. Put place make the full surface brake of pipe reduction. Then lab automatic brake valve. Move the automatic brake valve handle. Move the double heading cog into the trailing position. Move the independent brake valve handle. The release position, move the handle, place the handle hand, headlight control with the switch of the light and with the control its position. Stop the train control generator, switch into the left and underneath the train control generator. Six, open all switches, engine main control stations off the switch and off position exempt, exempt except for the transition forced all switching, which remains in the up auto position toggle switch in the engine main control stand remains road position. All right, your new leading cab. Close the control of the fuel pump switches on position. All other switches are necessary. Um, that are necessary. Transition for stalling switch shall um, for remain, remain in the up auto position. Toggle switch on the engine command control stand remains in roads position. And invert the reverse handles of the brake valve handles. Um, start the train control generator. Switch it to the left underneath the train control generator. Place the double heading of the cock in lead position. Reset the train control pull by pulling the reset valve handle back and pausing. Then placing the handle forward. The reset the valve is located with the rear corner of the locomotive in the front steps. Place independent brake valve in the full application position. Move the automatic brake valve into the running position. Place the headlight switch to the right and um, to the right in controlling position. Before moving the locomotive, to release the independent brake valve and independent brake. Um, shut down in freezing weather. When they decided to shut down the engines during layover with the freezing weather, they must be either drained or heated by steam from outside source. The steam is available for taking the following steps, in, steps from protecting against freezing. Engine cooling system protection. Open the steam and emission valve with the engine cooling water located on the floor right to the, uh, on the floor right front inside of the engine room near the lube oil filters. Open the G-valve. Connect the outside source with the steam to the train line of the locomotive. On the locomotive is not equipped with the train line. Connect the outside source with the steam to the pipe under the running of the board from the truck to the right side. Steam generator protection. Locomotive equipped with the steam generators must have the following valve that open with the addition of those under the cooling system above the following valves are numbered and are located with the steam generator compartment the steam emission valve 11, number 11 on the train line, steam emission valve number 10 on the radiation, layover connection shut off valve number 6, water, water suction drain off valve number 20, and water supplies stop valve 21. All right, the PC switch, the pneumatic control switch, is an air-operated electrical switch. The switch is tripped with the automatic brake application or by many, mainly emergency brake application. When the switch is tripped, it automatic, automatically reduces the speed of the engine to idle in all throttle positions except 5 and 6 of the position. In these two positions, the engine will stop immediately with the pneumatic control switch. It also shuts off the, all the fuel pumps and thoroughly, and although the engines may have gone to idle, they will be stopped within a few minutes from lack of fuel. The pneumatic control switch indicates the light will show the switch is tripped. To reset the automatic control switch after the automatic brake application, return the throttle to the idle, proceed, idle and proceed as follows. Lap the automatic brake valve, reset the train control by pulling the reset valve handle back, pausing and then placing a handle in the forward. Reset valve is located on the right rear corner of the locomotive in the front step. To reset the pneumatic control switch after manual emergency brake application, return the throttle to the in idle and move the automatic brake valve out of the emergency position. Our section 5 operating instruction the ELSCO type the M2 steam generator is designed for the maximum operating steam pressure of 325 pounds and a radiated steam output of 3,000 pounds per hour plus 20% with a control safety device incorporated in such a full automatic operation after set earning and are set to maintain an operating steam pressure ranging from 260 to 290 pounds with the fuel meter and controls actuated with the boiler pressure high steam output the boiler pressure will be closer to 290 pounds as the light loads of the pressure will approach 260 pounds two safety valves are provided with one being set with the 300 25 pounds and the other at 335 pounds. Um, thus, will thus with the automatic controls working properly with the safety valve should not come into play when starting with the steam generator while the opening the steam line with the train heating system. 
The instruction given below but this should be filed with the operating of the procedure simply and such that the operator does not necessarily um, require understanding of the working principle of the steam generator yet is true with any of the mechanical devices. General knowledge of the working principle is desirable. All right, your first page shows the uh, ELSCO um, generator type PM2's troubleshooting um, general. The main switch is closed. The pressure gauge lamp, the water lamp, gauge lamp, electrical eye, uh, eye indication, lamp light. The trouble is if one of those lights does not light, if none of the lights, none of these lamps light, um, the, with the main switch closed, the check with the, um, if the lights do not light up, check for the burned out lamp, check for the bro, bro, blow line, blow main line at 150 amps, the fuse is trip for the line, circuit breaker with the fuse, the check the blow, blow fuse in mo, um, motor control cabinet. B, alarm bell should be, um, not, the alarm bell should not ring. If the alarm bell rings, the push the stop button and the check control switch and should it be starting in the position. Two, after the pushing of the start button with the control switch in the starting position, motors to come to up to speed and driving cir uh, up to a speed and driving circulation pump, the fuel oil pump, and the blower fan wheel. If the motor does not start, check the reset of the uh, motor overload relay in the motor control cabinet reset. If necessary, to pushing the reset put button down, check the uh, check the main. Um, after pushing the start button with the control switch in the starting position, continued. Um, line and fuse, and if the circuit breaker, um, check the main line fuse, if the circuit breaker is used to reset it and the thumb trap tripped, check the blown fuse in the motor control cabinet. B, if the start lamp, if start indicating lamp lights, um, if the start indicating lamp does not light and motor is running, when, and the motor is running, check the burned out lamp. C, alarm bell should not ring. If the alarm bell rings, check the control switch and should be in the starting position. Three, steam generator motor, a pressure gauge white light and white handed, um, White hand circulating pump pressure should be 30 to 40 pounds greater than the red hand. The 30 to 140 pound, 30 to 40 pound differences they use pressure pressure is to call the differential pressure shown in steam. If there if um, if there is no differential pressure, the pressure is low or unsteady. Check the proper amount of the water and steam separated, which is the, which would which is with the water level showing the pass of the add, pass showing in the glass add water that's necessary. Check the circulating pump discharge the line strainer if may require cleaning. All right, steam, three steam generator motor running continuing. Um, generator has proper water circulation. Um, B the fuel oil pressure gauge red hand pump pressure should be between 240 to 260. If the fuel oil pump pressure is low or no pressure, um, check the oil pump suction, pump suction line. Inspect the flu flow of the in the sight glass. Turn the handle of the fuel oil pump suction line strainer to the clean strainer. The, then check to see if the fuel oil pump shaft is rotating. Check the belt tension. Fuel oil relief valve may be stuck open. If the fuel oil pressure pump is too high, fuel oil relief valve may be stuck closed be struck stuck closed or pressure gauge may be defective. Alright, see main um uh, the steam generator motor running continued main oil solenoid valve opens and after just differential pressure is established main solenoid does not open it makes definite cl click when it was open all right um four control switch switch is placed in the running position to make the steam generator um, if uh, burn, if the burner on on lamp does not light the steam generator fires check the burned out lamp if the burn on light lamp Burn on lamp lights. If the burn on lamp does not light and alarm bell rings, check the proper amount of water steam separated, which is the water level shown in the glass. Not enough water can cause the loss of differential pressure. Steam generator will not fire with the differential pressure is less than 20 pounds. Also check it items under action 3A. B. Small, um, small burner or solenoid valve opens. This will indicate with the fuel oil pressure gauge red hand dropping about 25 pounds in ignition covering converter runs. Um... If the steam generator does not fire within five seconds, the shutdown will occur, and the alarm bell will ring. Restart the steam generator. Check the fuel oil pressure gauge. With the, um, pressure fuel when control switch is placed in the running position. Position note drop in the fuel oil pump at the pressure, which indicates a small. Four control switch is placed in the running position to make the steam generator fire continue for about five seconds, providing the spark with the after which with the cutout as and as soon as the fire is established in an electrical eye indicating lamp goes out. Um, the small burner oil solenoid um, restart the steam generator. Check the oil fuel pressure pump when the control switch is placed in the running position. Note the drop. Note the drop in the fuel oil pressure pump with indicates the small burner oil solenoid valve open. Check the small burner tip of the plunging, plunging and check through the burn burner peephole for the proper sparking and oil atomizing. And check for the air dampener right rigging to see that the in low position is in low position 
All right, if the if there's no spark and proper spark, um, check the electrical wiring between the ignition transformer and the electrodes. Check the dirty, defective electrodes and gap between the electrodes should be one, three sixteenths of an inch. Steam generator fires about five seconds after the elect about an electric eye indicating lamp remains on, but the sh but the shutdown occurs with with both. When the steam shut when the steam generator is down done down, clean electrical eye lens. All right, four control switch is placed in the running position two to make the steam generator fire. Start the burner on, indicating lipers going on alarm bell rings. Steam generator operating, which with closed line shut off valve. The steam generator fire is automatically cut out with when the steam pressure reaches the 295 pounds. When the steam pressure drops to 285, it refires. Start small burner going on and off the sh short in intervals, calling cycling. If the steam generator shuts down when cycling alarm bell rings with both the start and burner on, indicating lights um, out and motor re running in reduced speed, place the control switch in start position. This will cut out, cut out the alarm bell and restart the steam generator. Place the control switch in the running position. Also check items action in number 4B. All right. If the alarm bell rings, the start indicating the lights with the burner on light and uh, burn on indicating light. Check the items of the action and 4A. Check the feed water pump speed steam valve with the full open kit. Check water gauge. Continued glass for the steam generator indicating the water steam pressure. Steam separator may be the foaming if it gives good blowdown using manual blowdown valve. Steam generator operative with the closed train line shut off valve. If the smoke shows the stack when we're firing the stack clears, check the small burner electrodes burn is in the ignition quickly as it should. All right, six. Um, steam generator feeding the steam um, train line with a low demand steam generator with a cycle to V with the normal steam demand. Both the small large burners will be on large burner pressure. White hand on fuel oil gauge control with the oil regulating valve in its various steam demand. If the steam generator stops firing alarm bell, will start indicate the light on and the burning on indica indication on light out. Check the differential pressure on the water water stop or tank fed water pump and its piping. Check the feeding water pump steam valve with the full open. Check the action feed water pump may be suction air for the leak cover the water and treatment tank check the items for the action of 5a or if the steam generator shuts down alarm bell ring start and burner on, on indicating lights on the motor running at the reduced speed check the fuel oil pump pressure when the steam generator off to clean the electrical eye lens and also check the items under action on 4b the steam generator shuts off down down alarm bell rings both indicating lights are on motor shuts down check the blow f for blow main fuses also check items under action 2a if the smoke shows the stack with a large burner on check the action with the air damper and the rigging check the blower with the fan wheel belts all right. Before starting the steam generator, auxiliary generator with the locomotive should be running with the main reserve. There should be at least 60 pounds of the pressure. The check the position of all the valve valves and the cross handles should be fully open. And with the valves, with round handles should be closed except with an exemption with the water glass valve. With exemption water glass valve with reference in two and six. The turn the handle reference seven the, on the fuel line filter of one of the full turn close the main switch. Move the handle with the reference one to the on position starting steam generator. If no water should be, shows in the glass run feed with the pump with the fair to ten on the air flow air as follows. Close the pump steam valve reference 23. Open the pump valve, valve air valve reference 9. Open the steam um, separator air vent cock reference number 3 while filling. When water reaches the top of the water glass, place the control switch reference 12 in the starting position. Push the start button in reference 14. Mode over 1. Continue to operate the feed water pump until the water remains in the water glass. Then shut up the pump off the pump air valve with the reference vent 9 and open shut the, open the pump steam valve with reference 23. Close the steam separator air vent and cock with reference 3. Place the control switch in reference 12 in the running position. Steam generator will fire. As the steam generator comes to the pressure, water will tend to the rise. As the manual the blowdown valve with the reference 25 of the main water, water level and ga um, glass. To feed the steam train line, the steam generator pressure should be the 275 pounds um, shown on the pressure gauge reference 16 red handled before proceeding. Your New York system, um, New York Central System instruction for the operating remote control equipment with the vapor clerks and DRK 460, 415, 16, 1700, L, 1600 pound, OK 46, 25, 2500 pound, and DRK 40, 45, 30, 33,000 pound type steam generator operating on the diesel electric loco red locomotives. All right, the vapor clerks and steam generators in section one is just on general description. Um, steam generator unit for the DRK and the OKC for the uh, four, four, four circulated with the cold water tube, the type of the air fill, oil fill that has the electrical ignition, the heat of the absorption portion, most of the DRK, the type of the steam generator, type of the generator is considered for the compact, compactly wound, co wound coil steel tube and can um, connect with the during interior to form the single tube that serves uh, several hundred feet in length of seat, set with a firebox in front of the compartment. The OK type of the, and some of the DRK types have, in addition with the above, three coils of energy 
energizing coil with located on the outside with the coil refactoring the path of the exhaust gases. The economizer, economizer coil in the series where the uh, other coils form as a part of the single tube. Water is then forced out, of, out uh, in the outer econo economizer with the coil in the sun tube with the feed pump. The oil is supplied with the burner with the, by the fuel pump while the air in the combustion is delivered with the combustion chamber by the blower. The hot combustion gases pass through the coil layers through um, before the flowing into the stack. The water is passed through and through the coils and heated with the converter within the steam. The steam flows with the coil with the external steam separated from the, with the steam train line with the filling with the coils with the cold water. The steam generated with the full operating pressure in one or two minutes after the fire is lit. Lighted. During the operation, slight excess water with circulation, but the coil flushes out with the scale foaming, the foaming material, forming material with the water. The sludge are removed from the steam, and they separate them and fall into the stump at the bottom of the, of the vessel. The sludge is blown out periodically through the blowdown valve with excessive water and is returned to the water supply tank through a coil type of heat exchanger with the flowing of the coil with the hot water preheat to the feed water with those flows through the casing with the heating exchanger. The capacity and pressure of the rated with the capacity with the 45-16 steam type steam generator is 1,600 pounds, and the Water evaporation per hour, 60 degrees feet. Water steam at 300 psi. Or that are 400. And that over the 42625 type, the 275 pounds. Or sorry, 2750 pounds. Then that of the 400 4530 type, 3000 pounds. The 4516 and 4530. These types are capable of delivering 20% above the rated capacity. 4625 um, 46, type delivers 10% above the rated capacity. Your steam out train and line pressure control. The steam output with the generator is automatic. Automatically controlled in accordance with the demand with the water bypass regulator, which bypasses the varying amount of the water pad being delivered to the coils. The steam generator pressure of the boiler pressure to drain line pressure also controlled by the automatic water bypass vat regulating valve, which may set in any desire between 50 to 155 psi. Length of the train and weather conditions will determine whether a setting should be um, used. The burner, the burner, which is the burner the diesel fuel oil, consists of the fuel spray headed with the equipped with the fuel spray nozzle with the air atomizing type of the air and the air atomizing type of the breaking up the fuel with the fine spray is supplied with the air brake compressor on the locomotive the sprays are in the other but the spray plugs at issue with the from the nozzle for the should the air pressure be too low for the proper atomization of the valve with the, within the spray have the DRK type the generator will close to prevent the discharge of the fuel oil into the combustion chamber while the o, with the OK type of the generator low air pressure will allow the air spring tension to open the air with the switch contacts the energizing with the fuel solenoid valve the preventing of the discharge of the fuel oil into the combustion chamber the amount of fuel delivered into the burner is regulated by the servo fuel control proportion of the quantity of the water Entering the steam generator coil to control the air from the combustion servo fuel controlling the link with the damper air into the intake stack. Motor, con motor converter the motor in which the drive the water pump, the fuel pump, and the blow with the combination of the motor converter with the furnishes the alternating current with the transformer from electrical ignition. Main switch the main switch is starting with the, uh, the equipment is located on the weird wall near the steam generator unit. The control switch. Motor will not start unless the control switch is in the either type of the fill or run position. The, uh, on the DRK type of the generators, but the switch is in the fill position, the water will be pumped into the seam. The generator, the fuel cutoff valve, with the shut and the burner, but it will not light. Turn the switch into the run opens with the uh, run opens with the fuel cutoff valve. The burn starts open well, starts at once. On the OK steam generator, with um, well, the steam in which the fill position, water will be pumped into the steam generator with the fuel solenoid valve. The energized with the burner will not turn the switch into the running and energized with the fuel solenoid valve. The burner starts at once. Steam generator control panel. The control panel consists of the relay resistors required for the starting and accelerating of the motor, but it also contains resettable overload switch to protect the motor. The steam separator with the excessive water removed from the steam and this vessel drains the bottom of the separator as the level raises above the return of the water outlet pipe the water is forced in and out and through the return water outlet valve and through the steam trap. Protect device to protect the steam generator against possible damage. The number of the safe devices are provided. These own devices will either be shut down the burner or the, or the motor that they were all, they as they as they fall or your stacks with the device is operated with a temporary head sensitive helixel inserted but into the side of the tra stack there should be steam generating coils becoming the seal with the shoot um suited up with external with the heat transfer through the coils and into the to the feed water will be reduced to the stack the temperature will arrive at the rise on uh, the temperature exceeded the 900 degrees fahrenheit the stack switch will open and shut down the motor with the shutdown due to operation of the device will be evident by tripping out of these reset buttons the alarm bell will ring also located with the stack switch at a low temperature with the set off the contacts there open with the stack is cool with the wheel closed with the stack temperature reached 
the approximate the of 250 degrees below temperature contact does not cause the reset button to trip over out of fire relay. The time of the deleted device is sensed for the SAC switch to low temperature contacts are open to the temperature below 250 degrees Fahrenheit. The necessary to provide the means of the temporary path of passing this device in order to start with the motor with the SAC. It's cold when the main switch is on, control switch is in, on the off or in the field position. The outer, free, outer fire relay is closed but in the running position with the control switch. The outer fire relay is de-energized, however, the time of the delay feature, the feature requires 45 seconds before the relay opens after the time the static switch and the low temperature contacts have not been closed. The motor will stop and the alarm bell will ring. No, if necessary, return the control switch to the opposition to reset the outer fire relays. Um, obtain another 45 se second time interval. Fuel control all, also low co water cutoff. This control measure of the fuel co um, to the burner and proper the relation to the water entering the coils. It also adjusts, adjusts the air damper for the good condition of combustion throughout the entire range range of the output, both functions are accomplished with the adjusting wheel cams. An insufficient amount of water could flow with the steam generated with the turbo fuel control with opening a low water control off switch to the energy of the air solenoid valve lacking the atomizer air will cause the burner to shut down. The stack temperature will then begin to drop at the falls below 250 degrees. The low temperature stack which switch will stop the motor and ring the alarm bell with the stack switch. Reset the button. Do not appear. Do not appear. Steam temperature limit control. The control switch um, is consistent with the route of um, the tube thermostat set with the combustion chamber will operate with the fuel meter route. The tube of the thermostat is also steam out the put light with the co um, for the com from the coils. Excessive steam temperature above the 410 to 425 degrees Fahrenheit of the absence of the steam causes the tube to expand meter of the fuel, preventing the damage of the coils for the overheating of the control. Does not cause the motor to shut down and does not require the manual resetting. Over other safety devices, other safeguards provide um, additional to use of the mentioned before as follows. The toast Safety valves mounted when the steam separated. These valves are usually set to relieve the, at 295 to 300 pounds of pressure. Two fuel fuses at the control um, circuit of the two fuses of the ignition circuit located on the control panel. The water relief valve is protected against the excessive water pressure should the coils become clogged with the scales in line with the becoming obstructed. It is set to open between 500 and 600, 600 pounds remote control. Some of the installations are provided with remote control equipment to allow the blowing down of the steam separator. And the shutting off the seam of the train line with the front of the locomotive cab. Such equipment include the remote control cabinet located on the cab in the front with the fireman seat with electro pneumatic cab, cab and electro operated with the automatic train line shut off the valve as well with the required air cylinder on the separator blow down valve on a multiple steam generator installation. There is one electro pneumatic cabinet on one train um, that shuts off the valve either the generator with one remote control. However, they will control the all steam generators. Your electro pneumatic control cabinet. The electro pneumatic control cabinet is located near the steam generator, consists of electrically operated air valve. The valve emits air from the air cylinder on the, uh, on the separator of the blowdown valve to open it when the separator blowdown is impressed on the remote control line panel. Train line shutoff valve. When the train line shutoff valve with the button in the remote control panel is pressed with the train line shutoff valve with the electrically tripped to close them by the going back to the steam generator to pressing the latching lever on the train line shutoff valve to open it and steam can be again emitted to the trail line. All right, section two, direction of operating. Um, before starting, check to see if the following valves are open. The water suction line, the stop valve with the cutoff, the shutoff valve with the water inlet valve with the water bypass regulator, the steam generator. Stop valve with the return water outlet, the valve with the steam separator, the water return valve with the line of the tank of the atomizing air emission valve, the also pet the coxswain steam line with the water bypass, the regulator, and the steam gauge. The valve valves should be closed with the washout solution emission valve, the washout solution return valve, with the mini manual water bypass valve, um, the coil blowdown valve, the water pump test valve, and all the drain valves in the line between the water tank and the water pump. Type the OK generators only layer connection, shut off valve, and steam emission valve, and radiation open and cold weather. See that the reset button the control panel is in. See that the stack switch on the reset is in. Starting the steam generator. Open the separate blowdown valve with the foot operated with the front of the for about one minute with the, the drain system separated with the close of the re valve. The open the field test valve with the separator with the close of the main switch. Turn the control switch to the field position motor will then start and then fill the steam generator with water. Assume with the water discharge from the, the t full test of the valve with the turn the control switch to the off position and close the full field test of the valve and wait until the few seconds until the motor stops then turn the control switch to the run burner. It should start at once. To press latching in the train line, shut off the valve, and open the valve, and then the same within the train line, open the manual train line valves. Um, See, so um, set the water bypass regulator with the required step of the train line. Pressure with the two or more steam generators that are used with the locomotive the end of the end. They are running of the required with the weather condition of the water bypass regulators on all steam generators should be set approximately the same. 
Open the three foot operated with a separated blowdown valve of two or three times with the three to five seconds of the intervals for the drain separated during the first five few minutes for the operation. Note that it may take five to ten minutes to, to, to fill, these, fill, fill the steam generator with water and entirely to empty. Do not start the steam generator unless the coils have been filled with water. It may take several minutes of the time to build up the required steam train line pressure. Check the return water flow with the air on 45, 30, and 40, 46, 25 generators indicated it should be cycled to 10 to 12 times per minute at a high fire and three to four times per minute with a low fire generator up to the operating temperature to temperature 4, 50, 45, 16. The generator should be cycled at six to eight times the high fire and two to three times per minute low fire. All right, check to be made, checks to be made by the operator. After starting the steam generator, check the atomizing air pressure indicated by the gauge. This pressure should be about um, 60 to 80 pounds on the DRK4530 type of the units, the 30 to 35 pounds of the DARK4516 um, type of units, and about 70 pounds on the AOK4625 type of units. Check fuel oil pressure, manifold pressure, um, type of unit, 145 to 60, 160 pounds DRK416, 145 to 60, 160 pounds DRK4530, 145 to 160 Manifold pressure to the LK4625. Um, all right, in the motor of the fire, um, fire fails to start. The fire fails to start within seconds. Look through the peep of the cycle life with the steam generator to see that they are sparking the spark plug electrodes. Also, check the water pressure on the fuel pressure. If the motor fails to start, check to see that the main switch is closed. The motor overload reset button is in. If the motor is operating, there is no spark with the bar, of the plug start on the control switch in the one in off position. Check the shaft cha and broken ignition cable loose and the broken cable connections. If the motor is operating, the spark plug of the function check when the water pressure with no pressure shows that the gauge on the pressure is too low. Check to see if the water suction chop valve is open. The cool blowdown valve that one of the drain valves may be open there may be no air pressure with the spray head nozzle and the air pressure may be too low all right, operating the operating steam generator with the remote control. After the steam generators have been um, started with the steam pressure for the, each of the generators, start train line pressure for the top of the with the following tab operation that can be performed from the locomotive tab when the remote control, remote control equipment is installed. Turn the master switch of the remote control panel to the on. Adjust the rheostat with the right hand side of the remote control panel to give the desired illumination for the steam train line pressure gauge. About the every half hour to press the separator blow down to push down the button, hold it down in or for about three to five seconds. If the emission of the steam in the train line with the steam off purpose of the cutting of the Car out of the train lift to the protecting over the ca protecting cap over the train line. Shut off the button and press the button. Close the train line global valve. After the admission of the steam of the train line has been shut down, the remote control it will be necessary to open the end of the train line. Shut valve the valve manually. Add the steam generator. Depressing the latching of the lever will readily stay. Um, to get the steam back in the train line, global valve must be opened slowly to fully open the position. Running attention when the remote control equipment is installed. Open the separator blowdown valve half half hourly for three to five um, seconds for the blowdown separator. To check the various gauges to assure that the yourself generators are running satisfactory. Shut down the steam generator with the remote control. To press the train line shut off button with the remote control panel. To turn the master switch with the remote control through the off position when the train stops. Go back to the steam generator. Each steam generator and shut it down with the following manner: turn the control switch to the off position. Open the coil or blowdown valve. Observe the boiler pressure when it fails. If the 50 pounds will close the valve, open separated blow valve, um, blow down valve, blow, um, blow down the steam separated with the remaining pressure, then close the valve. Refill the steam generator with the water with the turning of the control switch at the failed position. Open the fill test valve with the separated when the water begins with the discharge of the valve. Um, close with the turn of the close, close switch off the position. Open the main switch, close the atomizing air, but the steam generator is now filled with the ready for the use of the restarting with the unmit, the draining of the separator, opening the fill test valve, with the again filling the time of the steam generator with water. This may not have been done with the, some of the shutting down, but the, when the coals are already filled with the water, they will only take about one minute with this to be indicated the discharge of the water from the fill test valve. All right, instructions for draining the vapor of the DRK4516 or the DRK4530 or the OK4625 type of steam generator for protecting against the freezing. When possible, to raise steam pressure for the steam generator, the letting of the cycle several times set the train set, set the train line pressure at 100 pounds. Open the remote control manual steam line train valve with the steam valve closed with the closed the steam train line valve the, after the pressure of the train line re reaches 100, 100 pounds and open the both valve open the coil button coil coil blow down valve until the generator um, pressure reaches 75 pounds close and open the separator blowdown valve. It must be necessary to proceed with the work outline with the flows valves, whether the above the can be done or not. Open the water supply line with the fuller drain valves at A and B until the unit steam, and unit steam generator the valve will be open and applied to the OK generators. Also, the water return line floor drain valve B and the unit steam generator with a small water tank will open the water supply with this line line valve then open the plug drain valve with the large water tank in the B, B unit. Close the water suction to the top of the valve. Open wide the drain valve and line bottom of the water treatment tank. This will valve be applied with the OK generator 5. Open the water water pump test valve 
well wa- wa- valve wide. Six, um, open the water wide water pump, the test valve, and the three liter test plug. With the remove the drain plug with the bottom of the water plug. With work water out of the plug by the turning it over the hand and clockwise. Seven, the remove the cover of the water cart and tank treat- water treatment tank with the lift out of the treatment chamber with the strainer screener and empty with the water with the bolt. Eight, cold close the top of the valve with the top of the stator. Cool the mission of the valve to be widely open, separated, blow down valve with the close of close the water return line with the valve the out oh, ahead of the steam trap at the separator separated with the clo- open the clo- coil blow down valve wide wide connection the air hose with the w- water filled with the test valve um the separator with the blow down blow with the water remains with the steam generator cold with the exemption the economizer cold with the OK and some of the DRK steering range only and piping out the oil blow down valve with this co- then close the filling fill test. With the water return line valve at the, at the separated with the air hose connected with the water test fill valve, the blow te- blow the air through the strainer, the trap, the coils, and the heat exchanger there. Then out through the drain line valve, the brake pipe, the connection right water, and the bypass regulator with the connecting air hose the blow through the fuel control heat exchanger chamber. Then the economizer coil OK and some of the DRK generator only and piping out of the coil between blow down valve with the close of the blow down valve. 17 remove the plug um, and strain of the separator reply, reapply. Break um, 18 break connection at the left side with the water bypass regulating valve with the, and with the pump test valve open, blow air through the piping. 19, open the separate air blow down valve. 20, 20, break the water return line with the heat exchanger. 21, break the water inlet with outlet connection with the servo feeder with the control body blow out with the air. 22, remove the drain plugs on the bottom of the heat exchanger and the steam trap. 23, break the steam water line with the all teams gauge, water pressure gauge, and the water bypass regulator valve and blow out with the air. Soak up the soak up, uh, soak up up with the cloth with the water remaining below the top of the steam actuated with the diaphragm with the water by the bypass regulator. 24, break the conjunction of the pump bottom of the water bypass regulator valve with the blow of the air. 25, break the water of the hose connection between the A and B with the units to blow out with the air. 26. Break the steam connections between A and B. Units let the drain and reconnect. 27. Open the drain and valve in the steam and the cab heaters. 28. After the draining, it has all been compl- completed. All the valves may be left, o- left open except the following. A. The steam generator water suction stop valve. B. The steam generator stop valve at the top of the separator. C. The manual steam train line valve shut off valve. D. The ma- steam train line v- and valves. E. The water supply fuel drain valve. The A and B of the unit steam generator. And F. Water return line valve for the floor drain with the B unit of the generator. 200 gallon tanks. Or section two troubleshooting with the scope of the operator. The alarm, the warm, warning signal lighting indication. The event of the steam generator should shut down when an alarm bell will ring with the boiler off. The warning signal light will flash on. The warning light will pan on the panel within the unit involved. The stopping the alarm with the control switch to the off. The steam generator involved with the investigate with the cause of the difficulty remedy with the indicated below. Note that it is understood that the strainers and other parts within the unit are possibly unclogged or to be removed and taken apart when cleaned. Steam generator and shutdown systems causing revenue. Reset button out of the stack switch for the shutdown success with stack unit temperature with the brought about the burning excessive fuel with the because of the improper adjustment of the fuel pressure regulator the other cause of the mere remedy for the which it is not the scope of the operator to overcome the difficulty proceed as follows. Open the separator blow down valve to drain the separator and the reclose the valve, restack the switch button, turn the control switch to the fill position, close the main switch and refill the steam generator with the water indicated with the under the starting steam generator on page five. This will cover the blower to go down and sack, turn the control switch switch the running position restart burner to reset the button um, out on the steam generator control panel shut down it due to, shut down is due to the motor overload proceeded to valve the control turn the control switch to the opposition check the cause of the overload turning the pump by the hand to see that it is not locked if the pressure of the motor overload reset button to reset the switch start the start the steam generator usual manner if the bro- both the reset buttons are in but reset main, main switch breaker the restart the steam generator is usual manner if the motor or the burner will re- will not reset, the circuit breaker may have been tripped. If the lever may be center point position, but um, more lever the off position than go in the on position, reset. There's then in in those use in those units, the using the fuse in, instead of the circuit breakers may use main fuses may be blown out. Fuses may be blown out in the circuit of the motor, and it may not check. And if not, check the relay contacts. If the motor restarts but the burner does not and no spark show through the beep beside glass at the burner spray head, check the fuse of the control panel and the converter of the circuit of the ignition transformer. Check the loose of the broken ignition cable connections. See if the motor restart with the burner does not um, spark show through the peep sight um, glass. Check the atomizing air pressure is less than zero. Start um, the um, page 7, see page 10 for the pressure. Um, uh, start when may be clogged with the air pressure of the reducing valve of the atomizing air pressure satisfactory the air fuel straining with the burning spray head with may be clogged with the should be clean the spray nozzle may be clogged with the taken out with the spray head and remove the nozzle clean it and use the toothpick or the wooden splint to clean the nozzle discharge or if it's do not use a metal pick
If the water pressure does not even the shelf of the gauge, but the pressure will blow with the shutting down the do the operation servo fuel pails are because of the lack of the water brought about the lack of the water in the tanks cool will blow down will allow the oil will leak in the water suction line. Water treatment the train of taking um tank cover the suction line, tank of the tank cover loose the rubber to the right breather head will loose the suction line clogged with the trainer screen with the water temperature tank in the line strength train train tank. An operative the water bypass regulated with the try of the closing of the water inlet valve with the water bypass regulated with the burner start thumb. Once the indication of that the water bypass regulator inoperative with the set the manually regulated with the streamline with the pressure open and operative with the manual water bypass valve. If the burner does not restart with the closing of the water inlet valve with the water bypass regulator with the, if the put, water, fuel pressure does not show on the manifold of the pressure gauge while the water pressure appears to be adequate, this is an indication of the poor later oil filter clog with the turn handle with the one filter clockwise several times with the free filter of the fuel pressure from the nozzle pressure gauge with the excessive water pressure appears to be adequate, this is an indication of the clog strain of the nozzle of the burner fuel spray with the header uh, determining cause of the trouble the remedy to me ensure that they reopen the water inlet valve with the water bypass regulator with the water steam generator. All right, sharp uh, sharp drops in train line pressure burner cycle to off and on. This indicates the burner is being shut, off, shut down with the steam temperature light limit limit control because of the excessive steam temperature caused by the insufficient water delivery. And it's also an indication that servo fuel control may be cut, adjusted, may be out of adjustment. Do not attempt to adjust the fuel control. This is the job for the qualified maintainer. Notes report any difficulty encountered during the service upon arrival of the destination indicate the corrective measures that have been taken. If any, type the DRK and OK steam generators have control so arranged shut down the motor and pump when the steam is not, uh, not required to burns go out all right this, this is the water pump the the uh, schematic for the diagram of the 453 456 16 vapor clarkson steam generator um check out my sway on this um and then this is your electrical diagram um electrical white diagram for the ok 46 dn type then another diagram this is a another wiring diagram for it doesn't read but your steam generator okay um, this is the New York Central Operating Instruction for Diesel X Road Motors classes uh, EMD GP7 class ERP S and DR4G and road numbers um,